Back in the 80s and 90s, Austrian-born pro bodybuilder Andreas Munzer was quite a rage for his ultra-shredded physique and paper-thin skin texture. On March 12, 1996, Munzer complained of severe stomach pain and he was admitted to the hospital. He was bleeding from the stomach and was right away set for surgery. His liver and kidney had already failed. The doctors couldn't save him. On the morning of March 14, 1996, he died, with the official autopsy giving the cause of death as dystrophic multiple organ failure. He was just 31. However, the actual reports of his autopsy shocked the bodybuilding world and showed the real dangers which plagued the sport. The reports showed that Munzer had numerous table tennis ball sized tumors in the liver and he had a heart that had grown to weigh an abnormal 636 grams, well above the typical 300 grams. His liver weighed 2.9 kilograms, almost a kilo heavier than a normal male's liver weighing in at 2 kilograms. The bile ducts in the liver had stopped functioning. His kidneys were swollen to huge size and the testes were virtually shriveled. His electrolytes were also out of balance and his potassium levels were extremely high. Traces of about 20 different drugs were found along with acute toxicity. He is not alone. There is a list of top pro bodybuilders who had an untimely and tragic end. Mike Matarazzo died at age 48, had an open heart surgery in 2004, followed by a heart attack three years later in 2007. Finally, he died on August 16, 2014 in a hospital while waiting for a heart transplant. Dallas McCarver died at age 26. On August 22, 2017, Dallas was found on the floor at home with food scattered all around him. Nasser El Sonbati died at age 47 in sleep due to kidney and heart failure. Greg Kovacs died at age 44 due to heart failure. Mohammed Beneziza died at age 33 found dead in his hotel room October 4th, 1992, shortly after his competition. Rich Piana died at age 46. 2017, Rich suffered a heart attack, fell to the ground and hit his head. With the lack of oxygen going to his brain, the doctors put Rich on a medically induced coma. But in a week, his breathing started to deteriorate and he was put back in the ventilator until he passed away. Rich Piana's autopsy revealed an enlarged heart fatty liver, congested thyroid, discolored kidneys, and that's not all. According to a study in 2021 alone, over two dozen professional competitive bodybuilders died suddenly, along with a number of retired bodybuilders under the age of 60 years. The use of anabolic androgenic steroids in bodybuilding is an open story, though use of anabolics is quite prevalent in other sports too, but when combined with a lack of drug testing, it becomes a recipe of disaster which fosters uncontrolled use of various cocktails and combinations of performance-enhancing drugs, hormones, diuretics, and various other substances. The premier governing body for competitive bodybuilding, the IFBB, has policies regarding drug testing which conform to the World Anti-Doping Association Code, but this is nothing more than a joke. Different studies have given different percentages in terms of steroid use in bodybuilders, ranging from 20 to 60% or more. But with over two decades of experience in the field of sports and competitive bodybuilding, let me give you the exact percentage. It is 100%. Yes, every single bodybuilder competing on a conventional bodybuilding stage is under the influence of different dosages of anabolic steroids, which can range from little to supraphysiological amounts. If we observe closely, most of these deaths, including earlier ones, are cardiovascular in nature. Several studies have demonstrated that AAS unfavorably influences known cardiovascular disease risk factors and have demonstrated to markedly reduce high-density lipoprotein cholesterol, increase low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, and increase homocysteine in bodybuilders. According to a study, use of anabolic steroids for medical indications is relatively safe, but when used illicitly, they can damage health and cause disorders affecting several functions which can be cardiovascular, reproductive, musculoskeletal, endocrine, renal, immunologic, and neuropsychiatric. These side effects include cardiac injuries such as fibrosis, cardiac hypertrophy, and dilated cardiomyopathy with an increased risk for myocardial infarction, arrhythmias, and sudden cardiac death. I like to state that all this information was given by an answer by Shivam Rajbar, the answer has 10.2 million views, 
so I just want to give all the credit to him. I word for word copied what he had here because I found it so interesting when I read it and I wanted to share with all of you guys. I'll make sure if any money is generated from this video that I contact Shivam Rajbar and give him the proceeds. Thank you very much for watching.